A critical vote just a short time ago for faculty at Michigan State University. The result, a vote of no confidence in the school's trustees in the wake of the Larry Nassar scandal. Rod Maloney is in East Lansing tonight following this story, and the faculty has been vocal, but um, how much weight does this actually carry, Rod? Well, it's interesting you ask that, Kimberly, because really it's the governor is the only one that can change the uh, the board because it's elected by the general public. But in the meantime, this does ratchet up the pressure on the board. And maybe if they can't get them to be forced out of office, maybe they can help force some of the board members to decide it's time to step down. <laughs> Loud applause at an otherwise subdued meeting. The vote 61 to 4 as faculty board members filled the chambers. They were joined by students bearing anti-board signs, filled the wings and spilled out into the hallway inside International right. Hall. So Much of the conversation up, surrounded uh, not the board, but its choice of former Governor John Engler as interim president. Sure. Member Shawnee Vickery said the no-confidence vote came after his appointment and felt it tone-deaf to make that the reasoning for the no-confidence vote and not the Larry Nasser scandal itself. Casting a vote of no confidence because you object to the selection and selection process for the interim president sends the message that you did not have a problem with the board of trustees staying in place until the board had the audacity to ignore your input and appoint former Governor John Engler as interim president. Student Samuel Klon went after the Engler appointment anyway as just further evidence the board needs to go. John Engler irregardless of his politics and of his history and of his platform, is not an educator and he is not qualified on that alone to lead this institution. And I believe that a lot of the people I've talked to that may not be Republicans would say the same thing if we had asked former Governor Granholm to come back as well. Now, there was a lot of discussion about the board, about John Engler, about all of the things, but this was a vote on the overarching theme of a no-confidence vote in the Board of Trustees. It's just that the emails that had been passed around between the members discussed the fact that John Engler was sort of the final straw that broke the camel's back for a lot of board members. And so what we're hearing them say is they'd like to have further discussion on that, and apparently the faculty board here is going to take up that issue, and in terms of the slicing of the intent behind this, at a future date. Back to you. So, Rod, what do they say should happen to the board after this vote? Well, they, they all believe that the board needs to go. It just becomes a question of how. There were some professors who were saying that they think that dismantling the university isn't really especially helpful, and so that maybe the board either part or in some fashion can change. Others would like to see structural changes where the faculty board would actually have some say in the board members in the future, or at least having some control over the board choices. And so there's going to be a lot of pressure here in Lansing to sort of change the way this whole board process is undertaken. Okay. We'll see how it all unfolds. Rod, we appreciate it.